The record heat wave may have faded, but the impacts are still piling up as we learn more about the record temperatures that baked the Northwest. New data from the U.S. Drought Monitor shows increasingly dry conditions statewide, with parts of Washington's northwest interior and San Juan Islands now in moderate drought conditions. Western Washington is abnormally dry, and eastern Washington is facing extreme drought. It's a tough situation for farmers. How high is the level of concern right now? So it is, it is pretty high because with that burst of heat that we had, it just puts everybody's attention on, you know, will wildfires be an issue again? Beyond wildfires, he says producers are seeing some crops like cherries ripen early, causing a scramble for workers. Others worry plants won't produce as much fruit because of the low moisture timed with record heat. The heat is causing problems elsewhere, too. Today, fish and wildlife officials warned anglers to practice extra care on the water to protect heat-stressed fish. They mean fishing in cooler times of day and being aware of low water levels or higher water temperatures. That's what everybody's just, like I say, just on it's sort of on pins and needles, so to speak, right? Just, just waiting to see what, what shoot drops next. All that, as a new study reports the heat event would have been almost impossible were it not for climate change. Now, Washington farmers look to the weeks and months ahead. Michael Crow, King 5 News.